Now, we are celebrating Love Week in the run-up to Valentine's Day, which is this Sunday, of course, and today's guests have got a really uplifting story about the power of love. And two years ago, Blue's Duncan James posted this photograph announcing his relationship with boyfriend Rodrigo Reyes. Uh, this was to the world they put that out. Uh, and they're joining us now for their first TV interview together as a couple. Sadly, lockdown means they're not actually together, which is a great shame, but uh, welcome to both. Hi, Duncan. Hi, Rodrigo. <laughs> Uh, Duncan, this is so lovely. We're, we're so happy for Aww. you. And um, you've had an amazing reaction. So tell us how you met, first of all. Hey, girls. How you doing? Nice Hi. to see you all. Hey, Rodrigo. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so um, we met a couple of years ago in Belgium. I was doing a gig with the boys. And um, I met Rodrigo at the after party. And I saw him across the bar and... Uh, as Brenda would be able to tell you, he's very much my type. So I was like, yeah, I was like, oh, he's he's hot. And then Rodrigo, what did did you know who Duncan was? Did you know he was quite famous? Uh, hi everyone. Hi. So no, I didn't because I live here only for uh, six six years. So in Brazil, uh, where I come from, they're not so famous there. So I didn't know, and I met him and the guys like Lee and. And Simon and I didn't know who I then so, but I knew that I, I, I knew that this guy should, should uh, it had to be me, mine. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely. Can I ask? Have um since you've been together and obviously it's been during lockdown, so it's been over Zoom and have you managed to meet each other's families? Like, have the moms spoken to each other or and and how was it? Yeah, so before before we went into this crazy lockdown world, um, me, Rodrigo, my mother and his mother, she came over from Brazil and we all went to Ghent in Belgium where, where Rodrigo lives. And we had a really lovely time together. That is a picture of us all. Um, oh. And we all went to Ghent and had like a really nice weekend together around Ghent. And then I went and had um, a weekend with Rodrigo and his mum in Italy, which was really lovely. Because your mum, Duncan, you know, you're very, very close to her. So how important is it for you to get that approval from your mum? It's really important. You know, I'm, I'm super close to my mum. And historically, my mum hasn't really liked my partners. <laughs> but she <laughs> likes Rodrigo. So, you know, that's, we're winning at the moment. So that's good. Hey, Duncan. <laughs> so good to see you, Trouble. Um, for, hey, those, for those at home who don't know, I had the pleasure of working with Duncan. He was my Billy Flynn in Chicago in the West End and I was Mama yeah. Morton and we, that's where we made our friendship. And um, I remember I'm quite on, I was quite honoured because you, you spoke to me before you actually came out and told me that you were thinking of, of coming out um, at that time and I could see how, how emotional you were and what turmoil you were in. Do you think that you made the right decision in coming out at that time? Definitely. You know, I mean, for me, it was it was a really hard thing to do to come out. Um, coming from a boy band, uh, coming from that kind of world where you have a lot of female fans. Um, I didn't I didn't want to alienate my fans. I didn't want to, you know, I, a lot of pressure from record company. I didn't I thought I didn't want to let the boys down. It was so stupid. I had all these like issues in my head about my sexuality. So I thought it was best to just keep my mouth shut. And I remember doing Chicago with you, Brenda, and you telling me, oh, me telling you about my sexuality. And I remember you just gave me a hug mm. and you just said, baby, who cares? You know, you're gorgeous. And um, you gave me so much love. And from that, we, we had a real bond and we became really good friends. Yeah. Do you feel like meeting Rodrigo really helped you to get that confidence to really be your true self now? Yeah, I mean, Rodrigo is the first kind of relationship I've had that I've gone public with. Um, we just had a lovely picture together when we were in Ghent, actually, in, the, in Brussels. And we just, I just posted it, and the reaction was crazy. I mean, Rodrigo, you, you said it ended up getting into Brazil, right? All, all in the papers and the magazines. Yeah, it's true. All the papers and magazines writing me on Instagram. <laughs> I have, like, 1,000 followers on Instagram. It was just crazy. But lots, lots, lots of love. Lots of lovely messages was really amazing to feel how, this. How have you felt about that, Rodrigo? Because obviously Duncan is used to being famous. He's used to being, you know, on social media and people talking about him, whatever he does. Um, but that's not you, you know, you've been a very private person up until then. Did, did, did Duncan warn you what to expect? How's it been for you? Yeah, actually it was scary at the beginning, but then he, we had a conversation. He explained to me 
uh, how our life would be since the day that we posted the picture. And um, yeah, it was scary, but he's excited because I thought I would have, we would have like bad energy about from this picture because uh, unfortunately we have this, uh, still a lot of people that don't accept uh, the, the gay community or the gay couples. But uh, we had so many, so many good energy, so many good messages that it was amazing, amazing. And every day I, I still get some messages uh, lovely messages saying that uh, I support you guys and it's just amazing. I like, I really love this. And how, how difficult has it been for you both during lockdown and having to be apart? Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's been hard. I mean, the first time or more, didn't we? We, we had like four months, I think, apart. And then we managed to see each other when we had that little break when we were allowed out um, back to normality for a a few months, weren't we? And then we all went back into lockdown, but we got to see each other at Christmas, which was nice. And then I haven't seen him since, so. That's tough. And also, this, this Sunday is Valentine's Day, so you can't be together for Valentine's Day. So what are your plans to try and celebrate that? Well, hopefully there's something going to be arriving in the post to Rodrigo, um, <laughs> but that's a surprise. Mm. And I hope I get something in the post as well or more. Of course you have. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ding dong. It's, it's you now. You're under pressure now. You're under pressure, Rodrigo. Yeah. And, and Rodrigo, have you have you met Duncan's daughter? Yes, yes, I've met Tini. She's wonderful. She's wonderful. I've met uh, two, three times. I had the opportunity to to be with her. She's wonderful. Yeah. What she does in ballet, and she's also so pretty, so beautiful. I can see Duncan on it, uh, Claire on it, her mom. Yeah. And uh, she's just very good. Very, well, the last time I girl. saw you, Duncan, we were in the hairdresser, weren't we? In those we heady, were. those heady days when we could go to the hairdresser, and we were talking <laughs> about your daughter and how well she's doing. And um, listen, it is so good to see you. So happy. Um, I bet you're really pleased you put that photograph out there now. And Rodrigo, great to meet you too. Get used to being famous love now. To <laughs> <laughs> uh, love to you both. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, ladies. Thank See you. Bye-bye. <laughs>